almost ended up being dead the entire movie. How's it going? So welcome to the Lowell Stevens football facility. It was created here in 2013. It's been here ever since, going strong. Back over there, we got our team experience room to kind of help people get immersed into the U of A sports culture here. Right here, we got different samples of our jerseys for football, and then right there is our state-of-the-art room. Up on the administration floor, Matt Dudek, our recruiting coordinator, oversees all of our recruiting operations. This beautiful facility has been attracting football players to the Arizona football program for many years. Why don't we head up and talk to Matt? We are here with Matt Dudek, the recruiting coordinator and general manager. And uh, so when did you start the tradition of an OKG? I think one of the big things that uh, we were trying to establish here when we got to Arizona is an identity in the Pac-12. And that's something I went back to Coach Rodriguez back in 2001 uh, when he was at West Virginia. He talked about uh, OKGs, our kind of guys. That's what it means. So it doesn't matter how many stars you are. It doesn't matter how many offers you have. It doesn't matter all those things. It's about what you are to us. Or do you fit the character model? Do you fit the loving football model? Do you fit the football model? Uh, so I took that, what he said in a couple of newspaper click clippings in 2001, and brought it out here to the West Coast. Now, there are some other schools to try to use the OKG mantra, but they just stole it from us. What are some of the top OKGs that Arizona has had? I think one of the big things is every guy that's here, they wouldn't be here if they weren't OKG, but if you're looking true to the mantra of doesn't matter offers, doesn't matter stars, doesn't matter any of those things, you would immediately say Scooby Wright. Scooby Wright coming out of high school had us in like, I don't even know, it was like Idaho or something, so a school that nobody cares about. Uh, probably shouldn't have said that, but hey, enjoy that class. Um, and uh, they, he came here, off, got offered, committed, um, and then a couple other schools offered later. Um, but it didn't matter that he didn't have any offers. It didn't matter that he didn't have any stars. He came here, worked, and won every major defensive award when he was here. Is there anything else you want everyone to know about the tradition of an OKG? I think the biggest thing is we talk about no stars and offers and things. It, that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, the, you can get a guy that has 100 offers like Keenan Walker and Mike Volatise, two guys that are coming in this freshman year that are national players. So it doesn't have to be just that. And I think that's where you're going to see the program leading to. We, we found the Scooby Wrights and the Nate Phillipses, and now we're moving towards the, hey, we're getting in the, in, in the deep end of the pool, so to speak, with these national recruits, and they're OKGs too. Thanks for taking a look at Arizona football and the tradition of an OKG with us. History and traditions are being made every day here at Arizona football, and it all starts with football recruiting.